Fern Gully isn't just your average rainforest. It's full of magic and fairies. Our main fairy, Krista, comes in contact with Batty, played by Robin Williams. Krista has heard of people's greed through human tales, until one day she shrinks one trying to save his life. As she's growing and learning her powers, she also learns a lot through Zack, making her the first fairy to have this knowledge of humans. Zack then grows fondly of the fairies and the rainforest, and especially Krista. It's up to them too and Batty to go up against Zack's locking company and the evil forces of Hexus, who is voiced by Tim Curry, fighting with all they have, and Krista using her newfound powers from Maggie, they finally overcome the corruption that is Hexus. I really love this film and how it stands out, representing the danger of clear-cutting and taking away animals' homes. The film was released in 1992 and directed by Bill Coyer. The film has adaptation from the book, written by Diana Young, which was written 15 years before the film's release. Fern Gully was handled by Fox. Four main really good characters with Krista and Zack, and then you've got Batty, of course, Rob Williams, and Hexus with Tim Curry. Um, but those are really, uh, the only characters that really stand out to me. There's Maggie, of course, the main fairy, but she's not in it very much. Um, and the rest of the side characters aren't really memorable or anything special, really. But these four characters are pretty good and developed well, so I think that that's enough, really. And, um, the music, honestly, I don't really care for. The only song I really actually like is, uh, Toxic Love by Tim Curry. And they even bring their talents to this film as well with their voices. And, um, Rob Williams gets a lot of laughs because he's the comic relief of the film. Um, and that's what he's good for. As far as the music, a lot of it, the lyrics, I don't care for, honestly. It's just not really well written. But as far as the story, and then the, you know, the movie itself is really good. So, I mean, I don't hold it back for some of the musical numbers. Um, and it's a film I still really enjoy. The animation is beautiful. Um with the trees and then the forest itself and um, the score by Alan Silvestri is beautiful and really uh, helps bring the story to life. It's a fairy tale told that will never get old. The magic of Fern Gully and your homes to behold.